mean to make a huge fuss. He simply was, well, carrying out his calling. He was a teacher. He was looking at the texts that he was teaching and he had questions. And he wanted the best minds to talk about what he was questioning in the text and in the practices that were supposed to be based on the text. I'm talking about Martin Luther and 506 years ago, he called for a discussion, a debate, I guess you could say, but at least a, a, a conversation about indulgences. The practice of giving money to the church in order to receive either time off in uh, purgatory or the forgiveness of debt or sin uh, because of someone else's merit, such as saints, and those who have gone before us, uh, the, the big saints like St. Matthew or, or St. Paul or St. Peter, and the, the, the sort of the minor saints, St. Agnes and St. And Joe and, and you know, Grandpa Jim that went to heaven a few years ago. Martin Luther didn't mean to make a fuss, but a storm was ignited. A storm that culminated with him being kicked out of the church but also culminating in the fact that the gospel of Jesus Christ as revealed in Matthew, Mark, Luke, John, as well as the rest of scripture, now was in the hands of the people. A movement was afoot. A movement that we now call today the Protestant Reformation. And we mark it as starting on October 31st, 1517, basically 506 years ago. But it was a movement to bring the gospel and the Bible, the Word of God, back to the forefront, back to the light of day. And now people can hear this good news for themselves and read this good news for themselves and can gather together in community, in congregation, to celebrate the gifts that God has given to us in Jesus Christ and to carry that gift to others in mission and ministry in congregations all over the world. He didn't mean to make a fuss, but the Holy Spirit would not be denied. The gospel would go out into all the world. Thank you for joining me for today's edition of Boundless Hope. I pray that God will richly bless you. As we turn the calendar to November, remember, give thanks to the Lord for the gifts that he has given to us in Jesus Christ. And join me again next time.